Well, good morning, beloved. This is your girl, Sharon, once again from my front seat. And here we are giving God all praise, honor, and glory for what you say, beloved, for this brand new day. Well, today is Friday. Today is December the 22nd, 20 and 23. And here we are by the grace of God, giving God all praise, honor, and glory for what you say, beloved, for this brand new day. Why? Because this is the day which the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Why? Because the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. He has founded it. He established it or he established it. He found it. It is his we're all his. We belong to him. I'm here. I'm in the workplace. What's going on, girl? Today is Friday. Well, so since Christmas is um, Monday, Monday's a holiday. So we are blessed to work only four hours on Christmas Eve. So since Christmas Eve is Sunday, we recognize it, observe it today. And then uh, a beloved family member passed away, went home to be with the Lord. She's resting with the Lord. Uh, the Queen Tanya Forte, the mother of my nephew in love, uh, Brandon, Minister Brandon Forte and his sister Brianna. Well, the services are today at 11. I'm not going to go to the service, but I am going to go when I leave work at 11 to help set up at the repast. So that's why I drove in today. So I'm already here. So I'm here. So as you know, during this season of Advent, we've been going through uh, the book of St. Luke. So on our church Facebook page, uh, St. John Primitive San Bernardino. Um, each day, we've covered a chapter from the book of Luke, and we're making our way up to Christmas morning, right? And so during this season of Advent, what we are doing, we are rediscovering the purpose and the plan for Jesus Christ coming. And then we are seeking God for our roadmap, our purpose, our plan, because although many of us have been on this road a long time, some still struggle with, well, what, what is my purpose? What, 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 what is the plan for my life? Because sometimes, beloved, it, it be hard just trying to figure it out. Beloved, and the hope is that on December 25th, by the grace of God, when we awaken and we say to, and we say to our loved ones, Merry Christmas, when we say, Happy birthday, Jesus, when we say the Christ child is born. Beloved, the hope is because we have gone through the book of Luke and we have rediscovered, we have walked the journey that Jesus walked, that we would have drawn closer to him. We would have matured more in him. And then um, we would know more about the meaning of the Christ child's birth. Beloved, because of Christmas, there is Calvary. Mm, mm, mm. Come on, somebody. Or as Deacon Vernon Grace says, Christmas is the promise. Easter, that's the proof. Christmas is the promise of God's love. Easter is the proof of God's love. Mm, mm, mm. As Dr. David Jeremiah says, I celebrate Christmas because I celebrate Calvary. Come on, somebody. Had the Christ child not come, had Jesus Christ not been born, we would not have salvation. We would die and go to a Christless grave. We don't have to do that. Amen. So, um, yeah. So, Lord willing, sometime today, most likely in the evening. Now, we worked sort of kind of a double shift yesterday. So, we rushed through it on our 30-minute lunch break last night uh, for chapter number 21. Amen. But we're here. God bless you. I pray that you are so free in Jesus that you don't get lost in the, I don't have money to get anyone a give. No one gave me a give. Let's be free in Jesus. Amen. All right. I'm not requesting any gifts. <laughs> I request requesting them, but I sure hope I get one or two of seven or eight or nine or ten. I'm just messing with you all. So I have a little breakfast here, but I did some cooking uh, for the services. So I'm going to go inside the building and put that in the refrigerator. And then I'm going to come back and sip my coffee and eat my breakfast. We'll see what happens. 
So, and then in about half an hour, I'm going to go upstairs and for four hours, I'm going to render unto Caesar those things which belong unto Caesar. And if it be the Lord's will, we'll meet again on when? On, tom on tomorrow? I don't know. On Monday, we'll see. On Tuesday, perhaps, from my front seat. This is your girl Sharon, and I'm out, y'all. Deuces.